everyone, welcome to Aurora Public Library's Made in a Mug program. This is me, Evelyn. Evelyn, my helper, and my name is Tess. And today we are making a gluten-free cinnamon roll in a mug. And this does not have to be gluten-free, but for all you gluten-sensitive people out there like me, you can make it gluten-free, which is really cool. And this recipe is from Gathered Nutrition by Mia Zarlingo, and I will put the the link in the comments once we post this video. And I want to take that wall back. Okay. I'll show you how it works, okay? Okay. Take that wall back. Very silly. So get your mug. No, no more. Get your mug. And then we have only a few recipes. I would say, I think only eight ingredients. So you'll need pancake mix. And if you are gluten sensitive, make sure that it's a gluten free pancake mix. Yeah, I also have pancakes at breakfast when I wake up in the morning at bedtime. Yeah. And then we have baking powder. Baking powder. Hey. Salt. Salt. It's good. It needs more salt. Vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. It needs more salt too. Maple syrup. That yeah. needs more syrup too. And almond milk. And then, if you would like to do a topping, we have sugar back here and cinnamon. And then for our frosting, I'll be honest with you, I've tried this recipe a few times and I could not make Z Mia Zerlingo's um, cream cheese frosting work for me. So I made my own and I used cream cheese and powdered sugar and butter. And I whipped it up. Even. And I have I my have own cream it. cheese frosting. Even. You can, you can do what you like, what you want for your own icing. When we get to the end, I will explain it again that I did not use the recipe's cream cheese frosting. Even we have that thing. Evelyn, I'm not talking about that right now. You're going to be my helper. You better quiet, okay? All right, start with your mug. And the first step is one fourth cup of pancake mix. Mama made him a snake. Pour in your pancake mix to your mug. Next is one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Remember this is an individual serving. It's pretty small. So all of the measurements will be pretty small. And I only have a half a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna eyeball it and cut it in half to make sure, hi, you can pour it in. Make sure that it is one fourth teaspoon. Thank you, tap, tap. Next is a pinch of salt. So a pinch is literally just a pinch. I'm going to pour out a little bit of salt into my hand. I'm going to take a pinch of it, sprinkle it in a cup, and discard the rest in the sink. Yes. Then, once you have your three dry ingredients in the mug, stir it up. Mix, 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 mix. is two tablespoons of almond milk. And if you don't want to use almond milk, you can use whatever kind of milk you like. Regular milk, soy milk, oat milk. Or watermelon milk. Watermelon milk. Here, hold it over the cup. One. Try to scoop in the corners so that all of the dry ingredients are combined. If you don't get it all the first time, that's fine because we're going to add in some maple syrup and vanilla extract and that will help as well. So the next step, 
is half a tablespoon of maple syrup. Half a tablespoon. <laughs> um, this is a full tablespoon, so I'm just gonna have it. Eyeball that. I'm gonna pour it in. Don't lick it yet. Oh, uh, actually, you can have that. Thank you. Yes. All right. Oh, I forgot an ingredient. One teaspoon of melted butter. Teaspoon. So here I have my half teaspoon, so I'm gonna do it twice. My butter is already pretty melted. One. is one-fourth teaspoon vanilla extract. Again, I'm gonna do a little half. And stir really well. That's not a lot, okay? I think I've got all dry ingredients combined, plus all the wet ones. And now, I'm gonna fluff it down to the, to the bottom of your cup so that it's not all over the side. And it doesn't look like a lot right now, but you'll see it's Can gonna fluff up. Wow. Now, this is optional. If you'd like, you can put a little topping of one teaspoon of sugar and a fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. Hey, let's do sugar. Are you ready? I'm gonna get a regular spoon because I honestly don't mind if I have exact measurements on this topping. But if you want to be exact, you can. Can I taste some? No, you can't taste some right now. I'm gonna sprinkle it over the top like so, and then here's my cinnamon, and I'm going to, again, hold on, I have a clump on my finger, okay, I'm going to sprinkle as much as I would like over the top. Do not mix this again, because the sprinkle over the top is supposed to be your topping. We're going to put it in the microwave for one minute. Just a minute, you can taste some of In the meantime, Mia Zarlingo's sour, uh, excuse me, what is this called? Cream cheese frosting was a mix of um, cream cheese and vanilla extract and milk. And the cream cheese was supposed to be softened, so you leave it out overnight and then you mix it up really, really well. For some reason, I could not get the mixture to mix. I think there was too much liquid and not enough cream cheese. I'm not sure, but I used my own. So I made this cream cheese frosting out of cream cheese, powdered sugar, and butter. And I used an electric mixer because I just don't have the arm strength to get it going. Get it out right now. Wait, 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 wait. Careful, it's hot. So now, actually, it is fluffed up, and I recommend using a small mug, not a wide mug. We did this recipe on Christmas because we love cinnamon rolls on Christmas Day, and I used a small mug for myself and a big mug for my husband. His fell apart coming out. Mine in the small mug did not. So, cut along the edges with a butter knife so that it's not stuck to the sides. Can you switch over a little bit? And then carefully. Now you don't have to do this, you can leave it in your mug. But I just want you to see 
that it looks pretty nice. And I want to show my cream cheese frosting going over the top. Hey, can I have some? Scooch back a little bit, please. You may have some. A chocolate chip. I want you So there is my gluten-free cinnamon roll in a mug. Now it's on a plate. But I made it in a mug with cream cheese frosting on top. And I've already done this recipe several times, so I know it's delicious. Again, it does not have to be gluten-free. You can make it with regular pancake mix, whatever milk you want. It's totally up to you. It's very interchangeable. So thank you, Mia Zarlingo, for letting us use your recipe. Gather Nutrition is where I got it from. And thank you all for tuning in for another Made in the Mug program. See you all later.